What is the best implant abutment connection? The internal connection with a lead-in bevel, first introduced in 1986 with the screw vent implant, is the cornerstone of modern implant design. Clearly, internal conical connections won out over external hex connections and over internal connections with butt joints like the Nobel Replace Trilobe implant. Nobel now offers the replace with a conical internal hex connection. This external hex southern implant shows wear on the interface and the company recommended 45 newton centimeters of torque on the fixation screw to bolt the abutment to the implant, whereas most internal connection systems recommend only 30 newton centimeters. Astra implants with an 80 degree lead-in bevel that creates thin walls recommends using only 20 newton centimeters. The Nobel Active and Implant Direct's interactive implants have a 78 degree lead-in bevel in contrast to the 45 degree lead-in bevel of the original screw vent connection replicated in Implant Direct's legacy implant system. When you have a long, steep bevel, the walls get thinner and the hex gets deeper. When the Nobel Active was first launched in 2008, shortly after my internal conical connection patent expired, the company recommended that x-rays be taken to confirm that the abutment was fully seated. Strauman recently introduced the BLX implant with an 84 degree lead-in bevel, but they had the good sense to keep it relatively short. It is generally accepted that internal conical connections with lead-in bevels are the preferred design because of the stability between mating parts. All of the abutments for implants with lead-in bevels should be made with a half degree less taper to ensure contact at the opening of the internal shaft. This graphic of a PAL top connection demonstrates this fact. Therefore, having a steeper or longer taper to the implant's bevel does not contribute to greater stability. This picture of a cross section of a neodent Grand Morris implant with its 74 degree taper demonstrates what happens if the first point of contact is down the bevel and not at the opening of the internal shaft of the implant. A gap is created at the opening of the shaft. A Morris taper is one to one and a half degrees, not 16 degrees as used by the neodent implant. This slide shows a case using the Astra implant, which has a long 80 degree internal bevel. Tightening the fixation screw to seat the long bevel of the abutment results in lateral forces on the thin walls of the implant, which is why this company only recommends 15 to 25 newton centimeters of torque for tightening fixation screws, depending on the diameter of the implant. As shown here in these follow-up x-rays, the lateral forces on the thin walls of the implant resulted in part of the implant's wall fracturing. This resulted in a loosening of the abutment and significant bone loss with the ultimate removal of the implant.